Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Heroes Van Amsen and today uh, we are uh, diving deep into a fascinating problem from LeetCode that's a perfect playground for algorithm and enthusiasts and the problem is called Path with Minimum Effort and it's a fantastic way to understand Dijkstra algorithm uh, in a grid setting. So stick around and you will not only learn how to solve this, problem, but also get a deep understanding of the algorithm uh, behind it. And guess what? We are going to implement it live in Python, but for those who want to see solution in other languages, don't worry, I got you covered. So check the uh, link in the description below. So uh, let's quickly go over the problem statement to set the stage. We are given a two dimensional grid representing different terrains with varying uh, height. So uh, number our height and our task is to find a path from the top left to bottom right corner that require the minimum effort. And the effort is defined as maximum absolute difference in height between two adjacent cells along our path. So uh, let's go through a couple of examples to make sure we are uh, on the same page. So uh, given this grid, one, two, two, three, eight, two, five, uh, three, five. Uh, shortest path um, minimizing the effort is uh, this one. And as we can see, maximum, for example, here, so absolute difference between three and five is two. And if we pick another way, for example, uh, the second way, so uh, here the maximum uh, difference will be to minus five, so it's three. So this path is uh, better and our output is uh, to some maximum absolute uh, difference. So now we understand uh, the problem and do you see the pattern? Each cell's neighbor are essentially uh, in uh, determining the path and that's why we use a Dijkstra algorithm, which is fantastic at this kind of thing. So let's dive in. So in the world of graph algorithm, uh, Dijkstra algorithm is like a bread and butter for shortest uh, path problem. And in our grid, each cell is a node. And effort to move from one cell to another act as weight of the edge connecting them. So now, how do we implement this in code? So let's find out. Uh, so we will uh, try to uh, implement it uh, in Python, but yeah, as mentioned previously, uh, Go Rust uh, C++ implementation will be provided. So uh, first uh, thing we need uh, is a priority queue to keep track uh, of uh, cell sorted by their effort. And we also need a distance matrix to store the minimum effort for each cell. And the effort for the starting cell is zero. And for all other cells, we set it to uh, infinity uh, initially. Uh, okay, so let's start our implementation. So row column will be len high and len high zero. And directions zero one, zero minus one, one zero, minus one, zero. So all directions and math infinity for range of column four for in range of row and distance zero zero and minimum hip zero zero zero. Okay. So uh, now uh, let's write a while loop for uh, Dijkstra. So while minimum hip effort x y hip pop minimum hip and uh, this is uh, yeah where the magic will happen. So we enter a while loop and in each iteration we pop the cell with smallest effort from priority Q and then we explore uh, its neighbor and if we find a path to a neighbor that require less effort 
uh, than uh, what's already stored, we update it. So if x row minus one and y equal call minus one, uh, return effort and for the x the y in directions so and y plus 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 d and dy okay so all distances and if an x zero rows and yep yeah, zero greater equal and y of calls uh, new effort will be max effort and absolute height between x, y and minus high and x and n, y. Okay, so, and uh, yeah, so one of the beautiful uh, aspect of uh, Dijkstra algorithm is the early exit. So if during our while loop, we reach the bottom right corner, we can just return the effort needed to get there. And we are done. So this is a perfect optimization, especially uh, for uh, large uh, grids. Uh, and all right, uh, let's uh, continue implementation. So if new effort uh, less than distance exist will be new effort, and hip push, minimum hip, new effort, and X and Y. And yep, all right, so it's showtime. Let's, uh, yeah, we have combined this code uh, all together. So uh, let's run it and see it in action for this uh, particular, uh, yeah, test cases. So for test case one, yeah, all test cases passed. And as mentioned previously, output is uh, two. So it's minimum absolute uh, difference. So uh, now let's submit it also for unseen test cases. So let's see how it perform. So as you can see, it's quite good. Uh, we beat 94% with respect to, yeah, almost 95% with respect to runtime and also 81% with respect to uh, memory, so it's quite yeah simple. So it's the extra uh, algorithm uh, implementation, uh, but it's efficient. So uh, if you enjoyed this detailed breakdown, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, deep dive uh, into uh, coding problems, uh, tutorials, challenges, machine learning, tech, and much more. And yeah, so before we wrap up, let's quickly talk about the time and space complexity. So the time complexity here is uh, O M times N log uh, uh, M uh, times N. And the space complexity is O uh, M times uh, N. So, all right, uh, that's, uh, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, journey with PUP with minimum uh, effort. And 